In this video, I'm going to talk about generic over-the-counter allergy medications and whether they're as good as branded medications. Now, I know the branded medications work very well. I took those for years, but switched because of the price difference. Um, I never had a problem with a branded medication, and I do feel that most of them are stronger and uh, provide more relief than others. So here's the, here's the background on this. I bought a bottle of 600 allergy pills. They're diphenhydramine, a generic, um, a generic Benadryl uh, from Costco in the summer of 2023. Right now, this is August 28, 2023 when I'm making this. And uh, in this batch, when I bought it, these pills just didn't work. I've been taking Benadryl for, I don't know, 40 years, using Costco brand for probably uh, 19 years, I guess. Uh, and I usually take two or three at bedtime, and that's all I take. Now, there's a r higher risk of Alzheimer's or dementia when you use these all the time. So I try to break off once in a while and don't want to use it uh, during the day. But just, just at night, it helps me sleep and clears my allergies significantly. It's so much better. Well, I got this bot bottle, and nothing worked. I took two, then I tried four, then I tried six, then I tried them in the daytime, and no, no effect whatsoever. So I ended up getting a, a different bottle of diphenhydramine from somebody else. Then I started doing some research, and I found someone else on uh, Amazon reviews that had this kind of medicine from uh, a company that's called LNK, uh, but it was Kirkland brand too, and they said that their, their medicine didn't do anything for them. And um, so I, I, try, I filed a complaint with the, um, um, the federal drug complaint line for over-the-counters. And then I called up the company because they had an 800 number. And they were very responsive. And they said, uh, yeah, no, we don't just need the lot number. We don't need the medicine back. And then they called back and said, yeah, send us the medicine. And we'll give you an answer in 40 days. I uh, said, we'll reimburse you for the medication also. So they are taking it seriously. Nevertheless, this medication just doesn't work. And that's 100% guarantee. And there's, and there's at least one other person has gotten a bottle. It just didn't work. So, uh, and, and about, about, I don't know, 15 years ago, I had a bottle of the same thing, and I just took it back. And I think that was 400 pills in a bottle. Uh, and I don't remember if it was LNK drug or not. But uh, they don't work. So, you know, my assessment is uh, over-the-counter uh, generics aren't necessarily as good as the name brand, probably because of quality control. Now, I've, I also use aspirin, not ibuprofen or Tylenol, aspirin. And, um, and I've used aspirin for years because of arthritis. Uh, and I always felt that there was differences in how well it worked based on you know, which generic you bought. So I went and bought some name brand. Uh, and I'm not endorsing any medication whatsoever. I'm not endorsing Benadryl or Bayer. But I bought some name brand Bayer aspirin and started using it. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you, I feel a huge difference. Now, I do take a number of other medications which could be interfering with, interfering with absorption, especially omeprazole, the antacid. So maybe that has something to do with it. But the fact that the last batch of Kirkland Costco allergy medicine worked and this batch doesn't do anything makes me wonder what I've been putting in my body. So uh, the company's taking it seriously. I just feel that uh, you know if you don't think you're getting as much as you should from a generic drug, you should try the name brand and experiment with it to see what works better for you. And I know that prescription medications, I've known people that had to go with the name brand prescription because the generic would not work for them. So one size doesn't fit all when it comes to medication. And I think that's true with generic medication that a person should experiment before coming to a final conclusion what really works. But the bottom line is this one, which is lot number P132191, expiration, I think it was, uh, let me take a look at the expiration here. Expiration October of 2024. That is October 2024 expiration. And uh, so I got nothing against Costco, nothing against LNK. I just think that now and then you don't give what you pay for. This was about $8 for 600 tabs and will last me way more than a year. I'd have them just about used up the next year. That's, that's what I want to say when it comes to over-the-counter. Generics aren't necessarily better. Good luck. Please like and subscribe.